standards have come up in recent years, whether it's with the brands themselves or with customer standards. People definitely want to get the best out of their car buying budget. And there are many brands out there that have stepped up their game, even if some of them are extremely new to the market. As such, and with a bevy of options out there, here are our picks for the best crossovers, compact or subcompact, that meet our expectations and go for under 1,300,000 Philippine pesos. Please note that all of the prices indicated are at the time of this filming. Links to all of these cars reviews will be down in the description below, just next to the subscribe button, which you should hit while you're down there. Are you looking to compare prices for your brand new car? Well then, visit autodeal.com.ph, select the car that you want, and choose to request for a quote from our network of over 500 official dealer partners nationwide. Within minutes, you'll start receiving offers from the dealers you've selected. All that's left is for you to select the deal that's best for you. Get the best deal on Autodeal. Old but still gold, the GD Cool Ray still has one of the most padded spec sheets in the market today, and a close following too. While some owners will be the first to say that the model might be a bit outdated, it's still something notable in its segment. After all, it sparked a revolution that we have currently with all of these nice crossovers out there now for not a lot of budget, and coming in with a powerful engine, a great interior, and a maxed out price tag of just 1,299,000 Philippine pesos. Coming in after the Cool Ray is a new nameplate from a brand that we've been able to experience already, but in hybrid crossover form. The GWM Haval Jolion impressed us on many fronts with its hybrid technology. Take that away, however, and you still get a competent chassis, a more affordable price, but no hybrid tech. Actually, however, the car is definitely a very budget-friendly model to choose from, especially with the lower variants since the Jolion can go as low as 998,000 Philippine pesos and up to 1,248,000 for the non-hybrid variants. We have a special case here for our next pick. The GAC M Zoom and the GAC M Coos price tags actually meet in the middle somewhat. The M Zoom comes with a very powerful engine, good amounts of space, top of the line features, and a starting price of just 998,000 Philippine pesos, which then tops out at 1,198,000. Now we feel that you guys will be quite satisfied with this model as it sits in the base of the top of the line trim, but at a price of 1,298,000 for the base trim. The MQ offers the same premium interior fit and finish, the same power plant, but with a bigger interior and exterior. The ball's in your court when you go with GAC at 1.3 million Philippine pesos. Now, if you're interested in either of the two cars, as we did mention at the beginning of this program, the links are found down below. We've got reviews on all of them. Coming in kind of hot, but with a very refined and dependable demeanor is the Hyundai Creta. While we will argue that it looks are okay for some and dazzling for others with the parametric grill, driving it speaks for itself. You know that it feels solid whenever you go, and the engine, while not something to really write home about, is paired with one of the best CVTs out there in the market today, at least in our opinion. However, we would advise you to actually splurge a bit when buying this model, as the top of the line option is compelling at 1,340,000 Philippine pesos. If you can splurge just a little bit more, you get stuff like adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, and more, as well as the luscious brown and black leather interior. The smaller brother to the Corolla Cross, the Yaris Cross is priced well under 1,300,000 Philippine pesos, starting at just 1,199,000, and with its mid-level trim topping out at 1,296,000, this subcompact crossover from the fabled Toyota brand is one to look out for, especially in its hybrid trim. However, while it's nice to drive a hybrid around, it'll cost you a pretty penny. And at the budget of 1.3, you'll be left with a gasoline engine only. Still not bad, because it's a Toyota. But wouldn't it be nice to actually have a hybrid for 1.3 million Philippine pesos? Not happening. Oh yeah? Well, 
here it is. If you want it all, but don't mind axing a few features, the Nissan Kicks is the star of the price range. At just 1,224,000 Philippine pesos, you're getting all the benefits of a hybrid, quoting exemption and all, plus the drive of an electric vehicle with the convenience of just gassing up and going. There is also a kick-butt infotainment system, one of the more stable choices out there. And also, did we mention e-power? It's hard to deny the Kicks crossover, and it's also hard to deny what a great value it is under 1,300,000 Philippine pesos, because we definitely take this over the other cars, even if it's a little shy on space. Anyway, these are our picks. So please let us know if there is anything else that we've missed or any other cars that you might like to see from us. Post your comments down below and be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to see if we can follow through with any of your requests. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.